Hi. Uh, apparently, I was not recording. I was just uh, a moment ago um, going over everything, and then I realized I didn't actually hit record. So here I am, starting all over again. Welcome to week nine, everyone. Um, today's lecture is going to be like 15 minutes long. It's going to be super short because normally, uh, so for most of my career teaching college, I've taught in person. Okay. Uh, I've taught at college for 15 years, 10 of those all in person. And usually by this point in the course, uh, I'm doing a whole lot less teaching and a whole lot more working with the students hands on. So, um, if this was a class that was in person, I would be going over the outline, which I'm going to, I'm going to do today. I would be emphasizing some things I want you to do. And then I'll be letting you work independently. And then I would float around and just help people with the help those who need help okay um and give pointers and stuff okay which uh i want to do for y'all i know this is virtual so uh after i go over everything today with you and then you start doing your work this week if you have any questions uh please send me quite send me emails take screenshots if you need to whatever i can give you feedback okay um because there's not a lot of new stuff i need to go over this week next week when we get into writing your first draft, I am going to go over uh, good and bad things done in essay one, student samples. Okay, um, but for this week, we're doing doing outlines. I don't really really need to go over any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to show you this three slide PowerPoint that goes over the outline, and I'm going to show you a few examples of, of of sources to use and sources not to use. Um. I want you to make sure you pay attention to what I'm saying because I am going to hold your outline um, and at least especially your paper accountable for these things. Uh, I'm not really going to actually, what I talk about today is definitely going to be graded in your essay um, and um, in your outline, uh, I might, because it's, it's so, with the outline, I want to know that you have a certain direction. I'm not evaluating your sources in your outline. I'm evalu evaluating whether you have a solid, what we call a line of reasoning set up where you know what you're doing in each one. In your essay, your essay is where I'm going to actually see if you really applied what, what I discussed today or not. Okay. So let's just get into this. Uh, slideshow. Okay. Essay two assignment. So as discussed last week, this will look a lot like essay one. You'll conduct research on two specific types of critical lenses. Uh, you'll pick a film of your own choosing to watch and apply those two lenses. Uh, your paper will discuss those two lenses and you will provide analysis of the film on both of those lenses. I listed the lenses in last week's PowerPoint. So if you don't know which ones I'm talking about, you need to go back and look at those. All right. I did not include those in this PowerPoint. Your paper requirements, four full pages all the way to the bottom, two secondary sources, one film, a works cited page, proper MLA formatting, integrated quotes with parenthetical citations. Okay. How your essay will be outlined. Ah, this is what I wanted to be in. Uh, hold on. I, I don't want to spring all this all on you at once. I like having slides, uh, animations, and I thought that these were included, but clearly uh, they weren't. So I want to fix that one real fast. There we go. Boom. Transitions. Um, all right, here we go. So this is how your essay will fl flow. This is how your outline. The outline template is in the week, uh, whatever week this is, folder. Okay, the template's there, and then the uh, the turn in uh, the Dropbox. Okay, so you down you open up the Word document for the tent for the outline, and it's just fill in the blanks pretty much. Introduction. Um, in the introduction, you will discuss the film you picked, summarize it, and then state the types of analysis you will apply. Um, in the actual outline, you don't have to write all that. Uh, really, you're just going to write the film that you picked and the two types of, of, of lenses. Body paragraph one is gonna be explain analysis lens one. So on your body, on your outline, 
the term will be, will be blank. And so like, for example, like, like if I did Marxism, I would write Marxism. And then here for source uh, this week, when you find a source that, that, that discusses Marxism, you are going to put that citation here. All right. Body paragraph two, what element of the film emphasizes this? So here you are going to write, what are you going to be discussing uh, in relation to your lens? Okay. So maybe it's a character. So like if I was doing American Psycho, American Psycho, uh, the one aspect of, of, let's say, Marxism that I want to emphasize would be the materialism, the materialism of the main character. Okay. Materialism. So for my example, it would be the materialism of the main character. And that's all I'd have to write. Body paragraph three. Explain analysis lens two. So here you would write uh, the uh, other the other lens that you're applying. Okay. So like if I was doing, uh, let's say I was doing this film Cold Mountain. Okay, Cold Mountain. Um, I might write feminism here, and then I would write. Um, I would I would, I would uh, find a um, source that discusses feminism. And the part of my of my example, the part of my of my uh, from the film, I might write like the character of Ada, Ada, just one character. I'm gonna provide you an example of an outline filled out, um, but uh, this is how yours will look. Okay, and then conclusion, reflection. What did you think about this film overall? In the actual outline, you can just write like one sentence. I liked it. I didn't like it. It was good. It was stupid. And that one line is essentially going to be the basis for that whole conclusion. All right. In your actual paper, your introduction and your conclusion will be a full paragraph. But in your outline, it does not. Uh, it just needs to be the introduction just needs to have the title of the film. OK. Um, and the two term, the two types of lenses. And then the conclusion just needs to say one sentence, whether you liked it, you didn't like it. It was shocking. It was surprising. It was crazy, whatever. Okay. One line is fine. But that one sentence should essentially be what you turn into a paragraph when you actually write the essay. Okay. Now, the sources. Okay. So, like a lot of people use sources on the paper one that were from like these like encyclopedias, dictionaries, online, just university websites that were just written by a no name person. Okay. I don't want that for that for this essay. Every source that you use for this essay, which is just two, <laughs> has to have an actual author. It's not a group, and it's not um, uh, was a anonymous. It has to be an actual author. Okay, so I really want you to find sources from the New York Times. They always post an author, Vulture, uh, The Atlantic. Slate, The Guardian, The Economist, Forbes, Washington Times, Psychology Today, New York Magazine. Okay, I don't care. It needs to have an author's name. All right. And generally, publishers like this, they all they only publish things with actual authors' names. All right. And you know, look, like let's say you're doing Marxism on a certain film, you can find a critical analysis essay about Marxism about a different film because that that article is still going to talk about Marxism in general. All right. In general, uh, I don't want you to find a source about your movie. I want you to find a source that's about the lens, even if it's applying that lens to a different text. You could find an article about Marx, how a Marxist reading of uh, the Grapes of Wrath. And uh, in that article, it will explain things about Marxism. So it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be just solely about your lens. And it doesn't just have it doesn't have to be about the film that you chose. It can as long as it's it's let's say you 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 want to do um, feminism, it can be a feminist reading of Kate Chopin, uh, Kate Chopin's uh, The Story of an Hour. That's fine because in that article it's going to talk about things that deal with feminism in general, so you can apply that to your film. Okay, I don't want you to use Wikipedia. I don't want you to use Dictionary.com or or the Philosophical Library philosophical encyclopedia, university websites that have no authors. I don't want you to use any of those things, all right? 
so like some examples let's see here i have uh five minutes all right so like marxism marxism is about materialism it's about when people it's, it's the criticism that like money and capitalism corrupts people okay so like this article right here from psychology today is about the problems with materialism Nowhere, I guarantee you, if I do a search, uh, control find Marx. Is Marx in here? Nope. Is Marxism in this? Nope. But this essay is about materialism, which materialism is an issue that Marxism criticizes. So if I take this, 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 uh, this article by Sarah C. Newcomb, on material girl, miserable girl, miserable girl, and how and this article that's about how materialistic values rob us of joy, I can apply this essay. I mean, I'm sorry, this this uh yeah, th this this article to my analysis of American Psycho, which uh and, and argue that uh, uh Bateman, the main character, how he is he he is miserable because of materialism. It doesn't make him happy, which is which it drives him to murder people to find a different form of pleasure, and how like his 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 whole moral system has been compromised because of his need for materialism, and therefore it allows him to be able to take human life uh, without feeling bad about it because all he does is that he sees people as as material objects anyways. Okay, um, so this could be an article that I use to analyze my film. It's not this article is not about it's not about Marxism, okay? But this article though is about um, an issue that deals with Marxism, which is materialism, okay? Materialism. Let's see. Um, So you can do things like you can look up, use your topics to say something like understanding Marxism, criticism, New York Times. And you can type in one of the things that I that I had wrote. Um, uh, one of the uh, sources that, that I suggested that you should use. Let's see. Um, you can use Galileo. As long as whatever you find has a, um, an author to it. Uh, you can do something like, uh, let's see, you, you could go to the online data library, uh, research library, go to academic search complete. You can learn, you can do something like uh, Marxism. Marxism criticism theory, go to full text. Oops, go to full text. Click on academic journals, definitely not book reviews. And you can find a bunch of stuff on Galileo. It's just kind of sometimes, sometimes like notes on a Marxist interpretation of black American literature. Okay. Well, maybe you find it, maybe you're, you're, you're watching a, a film that emphasizes, um, you know, a black subject like Get Out, you pull this up, you read it, even though this article is about it's about literature, film is a type of literature, okay? And you apply some of and of what it says about that to understanding Marxist theory. You know, paragraph one is just you essentially reporting back what 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 you've learned, what you've learned. And then the second paragraph is analyzing the film through that through that lens okay so but whatever sources you use they have to have an author okay has to have an author all right uh you have and your goal is to explain the lens and then explain how it applies to your film all right and the sources that you use can be about the actual lens um it can be uh, um or it can be things that you draw on from that um 
or it can be one element. Okay. So like if you're writing an essay about Marxism, but you're doing American Psycho, you don't have to talk about every single thing dealing with Marxism. You can focus on it's it's theory that how materialism corrupts people. That, that's a, it's the, it comes with this basis from his idea that capitalism turns people into just into just uh, like almost like computers. Uh, they're not humans. Capitalism doesn't see humans as humans, but they only see it as in what can they produce producers, and that can kind of dehumanize people. And which is the whole argument about materialism. Materialism uh, uh, takes away from us our sense of of um, humanism. And, and it's all about product. And that in American Psycho translates to why the main character just goes around and kills people because he doesn't see them as real humans because he's too materialistic. All right, you want to make these connections. So you want to do research and learn about the lens and then be able to synthesize that into a paragraph and then apply it to your film. Okay, that's your goal this week. So finding sources and then... Uh, uh, being able to make an argument. All right. So uh, let me know if you have any questions along the way. I'm going to post the uh, the works that I mean the the uh, outline template you can download and be able to start putting in all your information. All right. Take it easy. Bye bye.